Smash that like button. It's a phrase that has become expected to be uttered at some point in almost every YouTube video you watch nowadays. The like and dislike button on YouTube is a useful feature that allows users to get a quick too long didn't watch summary of the audience's reaction to a creator's video without having to sift through thousands of comments. And for the most part, the like dislike bar is pretty reflective of the content's quality. But what if I told you the way we rated videos on YouTube hasn't always been this way? Many older viewers may have been active online during the infancy of YouTube, its first few years, back in 2006-2007 days. And in this time, YouTube had a completely different rating system for its videos. And this system was the 5 star rating system. Rating videos back in the early days of YouTube carried a lot more weight than it does now, mainly because during the days of the 5 star rating system, the star rating was actually displayed right next to your thumbnail and you could see it when you were browsing through videos. This meant as a content creator you really wanted to be sure that your star ratings were at least a 3 or above, otherwise why the hell would anyone give your videos a chance if it was like 1 or 2 stars? The overall importance of the like to dislike bar when you compare it to the 5 star system, the like to dislike just really pales in comparison of importance and general impact on your videos because you don't see the like to dislike ratio next to the thumbnail like you did with the 5 star system and people in general just don't care as much about ratings on videos. But again, I want to stress how big it was to have good star ratings on YouTube back in the early days. Back in the old days, the YouTube algorithm was pretty trash at recommending videos that you actually wanted to see. So on average, YouTube viewers were much more active when it came to finding content that suits them. They would take advantage of filters which would place the highest star rated content at the top of search results. So this was another major incentive of you need to have good ratings on your videos or you just won't be found. Now from the viewer's perspective, this system seems like a pretty good way for you to find quality content that's going to be good and entertain you. Or was it really that great at all? This is where I want to talk about why YouTube decided to make the switch from the 5 star to the like bar. What was the point of the change? Well, 5 star ratings simply aren't the most accurate way of gauging audience responses to a piece of content. Humans are fickle beings and data shows that when given the option to rate videos and it's a 5 star system, people will either put a 5 star just in general being far too generous or if they even mildly dislike the video, they'll give it a 1 star. This creates this weird situation where videos have 3 stars, 3 to 4 stars because the overinflation provided by the generous 5s given by the audience. People weren't using the 2, 3, and 4 star ratings. It was either 1 star or 5 stars. Simply put, having 5 options to rate a video is just too many choices. People would become discouraged to use it, and you would find that after the switch to the like and dislike bar, there were far more active ratings on videos. And YouTube had sort of made this observation as early as 2009, but it wasn't until 2010 in April when they made the change. I'll go ahead and read the first paragraph from the 2009 blog post that YouTube put up addressing the 5 star concern. 5 stars dominate ratings. This graph fascinated us so we wanted to share. It shows the number of videos that receive specific star ratings. 1 star for when you loathe something, 5 for when you love it. Judging from this chart, it looks like some of you are moved to rate videos when you don't like them, but the overwhelming majority of videos on YouTube have a stellar 5 star rating. Now unfortunately this graph is unavailable, but it seems like YouTube was privy to the problem of generous 5 star ratings. It's interesting to look back at this 2009 blog post where YouTube sort of expresses their concerns with the 5 star system. This blog post allowed users to comment on the post itself and it's pretty funny to see how people reacted to this at the time. Will says, I think a thumbs up thumbs down system would work really well and give a more accurate indication than the stars do now. Robert Tanton says, leave the system alone, it works. People don't favor videos as much because they end up with 5,000 videos favorited and most don't like that. You can't go back and find one that you really want to see. I rate anywhere from 1 to 5. Leave it alone. Fix something that could use fixing like helping more good videos get featured that aren't made by major studios. 
Christian says, I think you should do a thumbs up or thumbs down system. Personally, I only rate videos that I like and I give them five stars. But if I watch the video, I don't like them, I don't rate it unless it offends me in any way. And in that case, I give it a one star. Now, I don't know if the comment section on this blog post was curated in any way, but I couldn't really find a strong uproar against the idea of possibly changing from a five-star system. And it seems like many posters were okay with the idea of a like to dislike bar. So as the story goes, YouTube would trash the five-star system and put into place the like to dislike bar that we have now. I do remember when this changed happened on YouTube and I can remember a lot of videos sort of bashing the switch and some of the users being kind of disgruntled. And this goes when there's any major change on YouTube, it's just inevitable that people are going to be upset. However, I think the detractors of the switch may have one point because the switch to the like dislike bar created a major clickbait problem. You see when they switched from the five star system to the like to dislike like bar, the ratings for the videos were no longer shown next to the thumbnail on the browse page. This opened the door for rampant clickbaiting, and I'm not talking about pranks gone sexual type clickbaiting. This clickbaiting would be like a picture of a washed up sea otter on the shore and the title would be Real Bigfoot Found. And when you click the video it would just be a still image with this weird music playing in the background. <laughs> This was the OG clickbait, and it was some of the worst. Now, whenever YouTube's algorithm improved and switched from rewarding high views to high watch time, this type of blatant clickbait died out, but it was a problem for a couple of years. Outside of that one hangup, the like to dislike bar has worked pretty well and is doing good up until this day. The overall amount of participation relating to actually rating videos increased when they switched to the like to dislike bar, which was the intended purpose of the switch in and of itself. And in my personal opinion, I find the like to dislike bar just a lot more user friendly and it's not as convoluted as a 5 star system. Even now you see examples of companies ditching their 5 star systems for a like to dislike button. For example, Netflix made a change in 2017 from a 5 star system to a like to dislike option. It just works a lot better, honestly. So what do you guys think? Do you remember whenever they made the switch? Comment below if you think a 5 star system is better or do you like what we have now. Anyways, this has been a Wavy Web Surf video essay. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Shout out to my super homies, I appreciate y'all. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at the Wavy Web Surf, and if you want to have a chance to get comment of the day in the next video, make sure you leave a comment below. Hey, and join the Discord, we're having some great conversations in there. And if you want to be super homie, donate to me on Patreon. Peace.